Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be sharing my thoughts on this Dollar Tree vinyl. I've been getting a lot of requests. If you want to find out if this vinyl works, make sure to stick around and watch the entire video. So I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so I wanted to try it out myself. As you can see, I only purchased a few rolls. I didn't want to create any unnecessary waste in case I didn't like it. But for now, I just wanted to get a couple to test it out. Each of these packages contain a roll of 12 inches by 48 inches. That's two feet of vinyl, which is actually not that bad. That's a pretty good size for $1.25. I picked up this hot pink color, this floral pattern vinyl, a purple glitter one, and then they also have these tiny ones. I think they also wanted to create a dupe for the Creek of Joy ones. So we'll see how that works. And lastly, I found the transfer tape to go along with the vinyl. I forgot to mention this earlier, but the package says that they are permanent vinyl. This vinyl has a glossy finish, which is personally not my favorite, but I'll give it a chance. <laughs> this one's pretty. I think this also has a glossy finish. Ooh, so glittery. Right off the bat, there's some damaging there. Ooh, okay. I don't like that. You can see how badly that was rolled or packaged. It leaves a lot of creasing, which I'm pretty iffy about because it just dents your vinyl. That's a no-no. But again, it's $1.25. What can you expect, right? Let's check this one. See, they did the exact same thing. It's like an inch of waste that they could have avoided by just rolling it properly. I mean, it's not too noticeable on this one, but the way they rolled it, I don't know. Okay, now let's check the transfer tape. Yep. Same thing. Oh, that feels really thin. Wow. The texture of it reminds you of cellophane. Super thin. Let me show you the difference between the transfer tape that I usually use. This is a Frisco Craft brand from Amazon. And you see how it stays like that? The other one will not do that at all. <laughs> not that it matters, but like it's just me showing you the texture difference, like how thin it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place all of the same vinyls that I got onto the same mat. So this is the regular glossy permanent vinyl. Next, I'll be placing the glitter permanent vinyl down on the mat. And lastly, the floral printed pattern. I didn't have any issues placing them down on the mat, so that's good. There's no bubbling on either. Today I'm using the Cricut Explore 3 machine with the fine point blade. I am using the same design for all of the three vinyls, but I will be cutting them individually to make sure I'm using the correct settings for each. Okay, now this is the moment of truth. Let's see how this vinyl works. For the glossy vinyl, I'll begin by using the smart permanent vinyl setting. That's usually the setting I use for all permanent vinyls. So there was no damaging on the vinyl whenever it was cutting, which is a good sign, but we'll have to do the weeding test now. I'm leaving it on the mat in case it doesn't work. <gasps> no way. Wow. So that was our first try. I gotta say I'm impressed. I mean, it did cut all the way through. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think what it is the vinyl doesn't seem to be super sticky although it is permanent vinyl uh the vinyl does feel super thin compared to like oracle 651 starcraft permanent vinyl it's not as sticky either so far so good this vinyl actually weeded very easily i was not expecting that to be honest but i'm pretty happy it worked on the first try I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other two colors, the floral and the glitter vinyl. And then I'm also going to be testing the transfer tape from the Dollar Tree by applying it onto these. They are some plastic containers that I got from Michaels. For the purple vinyl, I'm setting the base material to glitter vinyl and leaving the pressure at default. Now for the floral pattern, I'm changing the base material to printable vinyl. Again, I'm leaving the pressure on default. Also a little tip, 
Never pull the vinyl away from the mat. Try to pull the mat away from the vinyl. That's going to prevent any folding on the actual image. On all of the vinyls that I've tried so far, which was the glossy permanent vinyl, the floral printable vinyl, and the glitter vinyl. There was no damaging whenever cutting these images. I'm not sure if I used the correct settings on accident or what, but you know, I didn't do anything special. I just try to set the base material to the one that would fit the best for each type of vinyl. But now let's see if it actually cut all the way through. Ooh, okay, it did cut all the way through. That came off really easily. Again, the same thing happened to the other vinyl, that the tiny little dots were not staying in place, which might mean the vinyl is not super tacky. Then again, see that one did not come off. I'm excited to see how the printable vinyl goes. <gasps> wow, that came off again, super easy. I'm having trouble with that tiny piece on all of them. I've heard a lot of bad reviews on these, that they didn't weed easily and that they did not cut all the way through. People were not having a good experience, but I'm having like a completely different experience compared to theirs. But I do see that side that maybe they were having trouble because of how thin it is. I mean, the quality is not the greatest because again, it's from the Dollar Tree, but so far I'm surprised, not gonna lie. Now I'm going to try this transfer tape with the vinyl. I won't be surprised if it doesn't work because of how thin it is. Let's try it with this one first. Well, before scraping the back, I'm going to see how that did. So part of it did transfer onto the transfer tape. Now let me try and do what I usually do. I like to flip over the image and scrape the back. Okay, that's better. Okay, that did transfer. Before applying anything to any surface, make sure you clean your surface. I'm just using a little mini alcohol pad. It's going to get rid of any dust or any dirt that it might have that could prevent the vinyl from performing at its highest. Go ahead and do the same to all of them. Now it's dry, let's test it out. I'm really impressed. There's like no bubbling at all. It's manageable but you really have to scrape it on and make sure it's really sticking to your surface. Interesting. I'm going to reuse the same exact piece of transfer tape. Mm -mm. It's a no for the glitter. Now let's try a new piece. Let's see if that's what it is. This transfer tape definitely has a very low tack. I like using medium tack because you can reuse it multiple times and it will still be sticky. Even for like a layering project, you can just keep on using it for this one. It's not that great. Look how bad that's lifting. I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. Yeah, no. But it's not gonna work with the glitter vinyl. This is a transfer tape I usually use. Let me show you how tackiness really makes the difference. A medium tack will make it a, a lot easier because it's not gonna be too sticky where the vinyl won't get stuck onto the transfer tape that it won't lift off of it or it won't lift it at all like we just saw. That came off like butter. That's how it's supposed to be for glitter vinyl. Since the other one didn't work, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with the Frisco Craft. Perfect. That came off very easily and there's no bubbling. I'm using the Dollar Tree transfer tape again to see how it performs with the printable vinyl. Transfer tape, not the best, but it did work. It did do its job. No bubbling. That's a pretty big deal. Okay, now let's try the mini roll, which I'm sure it won't be a lot different from the other rolls, but I'm still gonna try it out with the Cricut Joy. 
Okay, I just noticed something. This one feels a lot thinner than the other rolls. I'm not sure if it's the vinyl or the paper backing on this one, but it's a lot thinner compared to the bigger rolls. Maybe they'll cut different, maybe they'll cut worse, maybe they'll cut better, I don't know. Honestly, I don't understand the point of these tiny ones because you're only getting 4.5 inches by 48 inches, which is a lot less material than the bigger rolls. So you can clearly tell the difference. For the $1.25, I would much prefer trying these out instead of the tiny one. The backing of this is paper, so there's no way you can use this as smart vinyl for the Cricut Joy. You would still have to use a regular cutting mat. For this one, I make the design a lot smaller to see if the vinyl is good enough for intricate cuts. I set the base material to smart permanent vinyl. The cuts weren't that bad considering I sized the image down. Oh, that's not good. I cut all the way through the paper backing. That just shows you how thin this vinyl is. I usually use that setting for permanent adhesive vinyl and it does, never does this. I think I have my final thoughts. <laughs> That one was a disaster. This is not even a new mat, so it's not even that sticky. Okay, so these are my final thoughts. I would not recommend purchasing this one, which is the tiny Cricut Joy Size roll or the transfer tape. Those two were a no for me, but the vinyl, I would recommend it, but only if you're a beginner. Like if you need some vinyl you want to practice with, but you don't want to purchase the good kind or you don't want to waste your good vinyl, that's the only thing I could see it working for. Or stenciling. That wouldn't be my go-to vinyl though. It wasn't the best, but also the vinyl wasn't the worst. There was no bubbling, so that was good. There was no lifting when cutting the vinyl, but at the end, you could tell this one did not work with the Cricut Joy. At least not for me. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> I'm going to rate this transfer tape a 4 out of 10. The floral permanent vinyl and the regular glossy permanent vinyl, I rate those a maybe like an 8 or 7 out of 10. I would give this one a 6 out of 10. And this little one, um... Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've had any experience with these materials before or if this was your first time seeing them in action. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY.